this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make our mini puff stitch mitten. This would make an adorable ornament for your tree, a great present topper, or you can use it for the advent calendar that I'm making and I will show you how to do those add-ons at the end of this video. I'm using Mary Maxim Mellow Spun DK for this tutorial and Mary Maxim provided the yarn for this video. So the colors that I've used are garnet, buff, and also cream. You'll need a four millimeter crochet hook for this pattern and I'm using my Supernova Streamline hook. If you check the link in the description box, I'll have links for the yarn, the hook with a coupon code and everything you need to make the advent calendar. We'll start with a slip knot and we'll put that on our hook. We'll be starting with the mitten cuff. So we'll chain out a total of six. And I'll work single crochet in the second chain from the hook and each chain across. So I have a total of five stitches. Chain one and turn. Then we'll work single crochets in the back loop only. Chain one and turn. And we'll repeat row two now so that we have a total of 18 rows. Okay, so I'm gonna work my rows off camera and then I'll meet you up. Okay, once you've completed that, fold. So I have my total of 18 rows. We'll now slip stitch the band together. So we're gonna go through the back loop only over to the first chain and slip stitch. We'll work that across. going through the back loop of each stitch. And then we'll chain one and just flip that seam to the inside. Now I'll get you to work one single crochet in each row around. You should work around a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so once you've worked all the way around, we'll slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. Chain one, and we're gonna work some increases now. So we'll work a single crochet in the first two, and then two in the next two, a single crochet in the next two, and then two in the next. So repeat that all the way around. Okay, now we'll slip stitch in the first single crochet to join, chain one, and now we'll start into our puff stitch pattern. So to crochet the puff stitch, we're gonna yarn over, go through the first stitch, pulling up a loop, Make sure you give it a tug, yarn over, go through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, go through the stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over, go through, pulling up a loop. So you should have nine loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all of your loops. Chain one. We'll then skip a stitch, work a puff in the next. So one, two, three, four, yarn over, pull through, chain one. So keeping those stitches nice and loose is going to make it easy to pull through all the loops. If it gets too tight, it's not gonna pull through. One, 
two, three, four. So we're repeating this all the way around. So we're going through pulling up a loop four times so that we have nine loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all the loops and chain one. So I'm gonna continue that now around. Okay, so you should be skipping that last stitch. We're gonna slip stitch in our first puff to join and then we'll chain two. Okay, so the chain two will bring us over this first puff. So we're gonna be crocheting in the chain one spaces now around. So yarn over go through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, go through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, and continue, chain one, skip over the puff, so we're now crocheting our puffs in our chain one spaces. Okay, and work that all the way around. So I've ended here in this chain one space. I'm still going to chain one just to secure that puff and then we're gonna slip stitch into the second chain to join. Chain one. We'll work a puff in the first space We're going to be working a total of nine puffs so work nine and then i will meet you up okay so once you've worked your nine puffs you're going to chain one skip over the final stitches just pressing your mitten together like this this will be the thumb section so now we'll just slip stitch in the first puff to join So we'll chain two because our puff is here. We want to get over to the chain one space. So we're going to do now three rounds of puffs before we finish off the, off the top of the mitten. So you're just going to continue working your puffs in the round. So working in those chain one spaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and work up my three more rounds. So you'll have six puff rounds in total, and then we'll meet up again. So once we've worked all the way around, we're gonna slip stitch in that second chain, the chain two to join, chain one, and then we're gonna work single crochets in the chain one spaces around. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we will slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. These are so quick and easy to make. So we'll now we'll fasten off. And then we'll use our yarn needle close this up. So you can weave through every other stitch around. Okay, and just give that a pull. Close it up and then you can weave Continue to sort of weave this yarn just around your round your stitches here. And then you can go back in the opposite direction just to secure that tail. Okay, 
and then we can trim it. And you can also weave in any of your other tails. Okay, so now we're going to crochet the little thumb. So we're just gonna use single crochet stitches to do the thumb. So we're gonna join in right here. And we're gonna do three rounds of single crochet. We'll chain one, like a single crochet, one, two, three, five, six, and you should have seven. stitches. Okay, and then you're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. You're going to have a little bit of gapping here, but we're just going to use our tails to weave that so that it's closed. And now I'll just get you to go two more rounds here for our little thumb. So we're working around single crochets into seven stitches joining. So I'm gonna go ahead and work two more rounds. Okay, so slip stitch to join. It's my third round. And then you can just fasten that off. We're gonna close it up just like we did Top, except for this time we're going to go through the front loops only to close it. So one, two, okay, and then just pull it closed. You can weave in your tail. Because this tail I have here is a bit longer than I left for this one, I'm going to weave it down and use it to sew up that little gap. You just want to sew that so that we don't have a, a hole on the side. Okay, and then I'll finish weaving these and trim my tails. Okay, so this is really sweet and cute. It's all finished. Now the final step, if you are working on the advent calendar with me for the crochet along, I purchased all these wooden advent numbers from Amazon and I'll have the link in the description box. So we have our numbers 1 through 24. It also comes with some twine. So all you're going to do is take your twine. Okay, and we can not our little number to it. Now what's good to do is get all of your little mittens and stockings and kind of line them up on the tree ladder and then you can see sort of mix and match your color patterns. So I have some other different ones. You can find the link for the cow in the description box. It will show you all the different all the different ones that I have made. So you can mix and match them and then decide on your numbers. And then all we need to do 
use your yarn needle and then you can use this to tie it to the tree ladder. Okay, so then we'll just knot this on. Okay, just like that. And then you can just add whatever treats you want to. I bought these chocolates. And depending on how many children you have, or if you're even doing it for yourself and your partner, you can shove through whatever treats you want and then attach them to the calendar. And this, of course, would work great even as a gift tag. So you could add a little gift tag instead and put it on a present, and that would look really cute as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.